All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Fears video with Fat Phil. And uh, for today's video, I want to talk about my my recent, I guess, current, whatever you want to call it, Grand Arena matchup here against my opponent and talk about why I think the Grand Arena system, again, is showing that there's still some improvements to be made. I want to make this video because Capital Games was very clear and said, hey, if you notice anything, give us a holler. So I'm going to talk about my Grand Arena and why I had double the GP of my opponent. So like, subscribe, comment. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Of course, let's give a huge shout out to our channel members for all of their continued support. Um, of course, none of their stuff is up, even though it should be because I have the pictures open. I don't know why. There we go. So thank you guys again for continuing to support this channel. If you're ever interested in joining, that link is down below along with the Discord. The Discord's a fantastic place. And two, you know, again, the Wampa and Jedi Master Tears. Thank you guys so much for putting your faith in me to bring you good quality content. I hope that I'm delivering on that promise. And if I'm not, then feel free to yell at me in the comment section and say, Phil, do better. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this GAC a little bit. So I did not score nearly as many points because I was going up against a guy with um literally half of my gp like 5.2 million gp i've got 10 and a half million so yeah this is my opponent's roster again i feel like this is an account that was very old for a while and the player they probably recently started playing again would be my gut assumption i could be wrong on that because they do have some newer characters at seven star but i feel like just looking at some of the the zetas the overall quality of the characters seemed to me that they were playing for a while, stopped, kind of came back, and we were playing for a while, stopped, came back. So that's kind of the gut, my gut assumption there. Um, but when we go to the score, uh, my rule for myself on offense was that I tried to solo every single ground team. So up here, like we had no issues, right? And then, uh, and my opponent, the thing is, they set like an auto deploy defense, which if you remember back in the day, the auto deploy defense would just deploy your units based on like how much GP they had, like based on their power. And those would be the most powerful teams. Like it was really funny, right? It was, it was a very interesting time to be in Grand Arena. And I feel like that's what was set here was that it just went in terms of power. Um, so yeah, very, very interesting matchup to say the least, right? Um, it was interesting, right? It was fun. I tried to solo every team. I actually had some fails. We dropped against certain teams. Uh, Enfys Nest actually lost in a 1v1 to Darth Sidious. I just had too much speed, actually. That was actually, that was, that was pretty funny. And then on the back wall here, they, you guys have to check out the live stream. Um, Jawa solo failed here. Not shocked. But then down here, Darth Maul got timed out by Royal Guard because... <laughs> Darth Maul kept getting stunned, so he couldn't do enough damage to Royal Guard with Royal Guard's recover, uh, health recovery from his, uh, you know, unique ability, and it was, oh, it's just so funny, right? Like, it was, it was, a, it was an interesting GAC, to say the least, um, but I want to talk about why I think, now, this one's obviously a very different issue in Grand Arena, where, like, this is just an algorithm mismatch, right? But I think a lot of this goes back to the way that Capital Games determines skill rating. So you have this skill rating in Grand Arena, right? Which says, hey, this is your skill and it's based on your wins and your losses. Um, I feel that it fluctuates way too much for a win and way too much for a loss. That you think about it, if you face an opponent who's an equal skill to you, you winning that or winning that GAC means you're going to gain or lose about 40 skill points. How is that right? How is it right that you're going to lose all of these skill points when you lose to someone who has a similar roster to you? Like that doesn't make any sense. Like, especially if it's a close match, you think like if you lose by a couple of banners, do you really deserve to fall down that far in your skill rating? And then what happens Right, I'm gonna actually, I need to pull up my uh, Star Wars Galaxy GG account to show you guys this. Because I feel like this trend is something that is just so crazy. Um, so let me flip over here, hold on. Come on, thing. It is late at night, so I do apologize. 
Yeah, so look at my skill rating, right? Where it's just kind of been like all over the place, right? And you guys can see here, like I think this was the change in the in the matchmaking and then we climbed up, right? But like all these peaks and valleys, like this stuff is, it's absurd, right? I think what would be so much smarter is to implement a system where instead of going up against three opponents, right? So when you go into a GAC, right, you get matched up if I go into the current round here. So I get matched up with, you know, a total of seven other players, right? So there's seven other players in my bracket. I get to fight three of them. So think that I got to fight the guy with, you know, 5.2 million galactic power. Like, how is that right? That doesn't, you know, that doesn't sit well with anybody. So I get to fight that guy. So I get a free win. And you think, well, Phil, oh, it's all going to balance out. But it, the, the problem is... I now get this free win. I'm going to go against up against somebody who is an equal skill to me. So now I go into that equal skill match and maybe I win this third round. So now I went two and one where one of those wins was a complete sham. And if I lose, I mean, and it's even like, you know, more hilarious. Then I drop down to a bracket where I clearly don't belong because I lost to somebody who has the same skill as me so like when you look at this graph chart right when we go back here you look at this graph chart you can see all of these major fluctuations and i feel like with the green arena system these fluctuations are kind of the problem i feel like they don't know how to fix this yet right and like what would our suggestion be what would the you know what's the like is there even a suggestion I think what you do, right? I say this all the time, and I wanted to make this, especially with my opponent, the way that it is right now. What I think would be so much better, is if I flip back over to the game, is on the leaderboards here, if I go to my ranking. So, I am, where am I at? I'm down here, right? So, I'm down here. What I do is instead of facing three opponents from a sample size of everybody who's around me, give me nine opponents who all have the same skill rating and make me fight all nine of them like I would in a normal GAC season. I think that would be a much more fair way to do this. Is I think what a lot of players like we use the, the the game uses skill rating the wrong way that we rely on those win they rely on the wins and losses by you climb up too high and you know you drop too low so you're gonna win more down here you're gonna lose more up here and it nets out in the end i feel like what would be a much better solution is to put you in a bracket of players who are of an equal skill rating to you and then you all fight head to head and then at the end of that you get placed into another bracket of players who did the exact same that you did so if you win five matches and you lost four your next bracket is all made up of players from that same skill rating from initially who also went five and four and that way you're matching that skill level that the goal should be to match skill levels across the entire board and that's what happens in kyber one and this is kind of where like this i don't know rant whatever you want to call it kind of starts is that in kyber one those guys like Aesop Rock and Arnold and Taro and, you know, these guys who are always up here, like, they get the perfect matchups where they're always fighting somebody who is, you know, and I'll say, put in quotes on equal footing, I understand not all rosters are the same, but, like, all these guys have top of the line stuff, they don't miss out on characters, they don't miss out on Datacrons, like, they're very, very good players, but they all get to fight each other. So their skill rating only changes because they're fighting someone of an equal skill level to them. You compare that to all the rest of us, right? And we're having, when we're losing, right, the way that our skill rating changes is that, oh, Phil's fighting garbage opponents. Oh, Phil's fighting opponents who he shouldn't be able to beat. Like, instead of doing this, just kind of try to keep it consistent. And I think you'd see more players engaging with Grand Arena. I think that it would improve the revenue sources because players would want to invest in Grand Arena knowing that their opponents are going to be players that they can actually beat and participate with. Because your goal should be, again, 
like the, like the goal is 500 the goal is that you win as often as you lose um and that's the way the matchmaking works and i don't know that that's the best solution either that you're forcing losses out of players because like i've told a lot of people you know what's the point of winning a match that you shouldn't win if you're gonna lose the next one that you know there's like either you win one or you're gonna lose the other way you know like there's no it's just it's a very interesting dynamic in GAC and I feel like my opponent here I feel bad for them like they should not be in a position where they have to compete against players who were started like we started out in Kyber one so yeah I felt bad um just one of those things where I think that unfortunately with the algorithm and the system work it's just not fair so with all that said guys like subscribe comment I want to know your thoughts again I appreciate all you putting up with me Again, if you're ever interested in joining um, channel memberships, again, that link is always down below. In the comment section, go ahead, type Wampa is King, and that fellow's eyes were closed the entire time because he's so friggin' exhausted. Um, with all that said, I love you. May the force be with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.